in this video we have got details of Los Montesinos Tapas route, a warning that some of you may not have seen or heard before, and we get some more done in the garden. I'll show you a bit of Bob's allotment. Cue the music. Hi Bob. Hi Bob. Next time you see me, I won't look like a fat Doc Brown out of Back to the Future. Anyway, up here was basically retractable toldos. Got caught out in summer with a little bit of bad weather overnight and wind ragged it and broke quite a few of the metal poles that go between. Looking at doing metal poles and you look at the condition that the toldos was in and it's faded and it probably might last another year, maybe two before it'll need replacing. So what Helen's done the idea is we're going to put like a th thatch roof so the stuff that you get on the wall doesn't have to be waterproof uh, we're going to have a crack at doing that so i'm going to need to put a support higher up that's parallel with that one there and we'll show you some bits of how i've done it and everything else as i go along uh helen's been buying more solar lights and i've also got those to enclose with some more mesh all meshed out ah, so carrying on from the last time uh, we've got these mesh we have these upstairs at the office so uh, we're going to use those as supports for the ceiling or for the roof on the gazebo and we'll do a bit of time lapse and you can see that coming up Now, Los Montesinos Tapas route, they announced it Thursday, today is Sunday, which is ridiculous. The town hall, we've been on at them since last year to give us the dates because I know that some of you guys wanted to get out here to do the event. The event is this coming weekend, this Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Details I'll put here. So Los Montesinos Tapas route, it's Friday, Saturday and Sunday. On the Saturday is when the bus is available for those of you that's in La Harada and Montesol Villas. 20 different bars and restaurants taking part. Three euros for a tapa and a drink. And the drink can either be wine, beer or a soft drink, as I understand it. Have a look at the leaflet for details. They're all open at different times. Each one's doing its own individual tapa. Some aren't taking part that took part last year, but there's, obviously there's new ones this year. Uh, I suggest you start on the beer or the soft drink because if you start on the wine you ain't gonna last very long, trust me. Voice of experience. It's had two rolls, got them from a Chinese shop near to Carrefour-ish. Two rolls of the, it's like the fencing stuff that you can buy. So there's one other thing on top of the mesh that I showed you. We picked up two more rolls, not quite the same, a little bit cheaper. They were 40 euros a roll, the other stuff we brought 35 euros a rule because it's going to be double layered as opposed to a single which is what we were expecting the first time it's a dirty job if you get bits and everything everywhere so that'll be hoiked up we'll strap it down i'm not expecting it to offer full shade but it should be all right in all the different types of weather that we get here and you know in winter and that sort of thing and there's some lights that's going to go in it as well which we'll show you those they're solar lights <laughs> Thank you. 
not finished but getting there uh, that's not worked quite how I expected this is from the garden centre it's a lot thinner and a lot cheaper than the stuff we've put round here this is a lot sturdier I'll show you what she's done what Helen's done May need a little bit more work only to secure with some more bits of wire the the water um, onto the grids anyway have a look see what you think Sure if I mentioned this actually um, to stop the dogs and everything else uh, we've picked the clothes dryers clothes airers that they used to use for drying clothes outside and we've now got clothes lines trying to find clothes props unless you're going to order them off of Amazon for example but anyway me being me being me I made me own Works fine. And now I'm just gonna go and have angled dogs with it. Now, we are hitting 20, mid 20s, very regularly. But it's still a couple of months before we'll get in that. Trust me, when you've been here a few years, you'll all be the same. Enough of this waffle. Let's go and see what Bob's are up to. On me. Okay, so let us start. Let us. Have let you had it? no. Let us start with a great big thank you to Sue and Simon. The, Sue and Simon are, are uh, subscribers of ours, and when they came over the, a couple of weeks ago, they brought me some peas, some pea seeds, and come slither here either. Look. Pea seeds, look. I only put them in the ground five, six days ago and they threw. So thank you for that. They'll be, they'll be lovely. I've cleared out all the uh, the garlics and we'll show you them in a minute. Please oh, go to seed. But I'll just keep breaking them off and it keep, they keep coming. And I've transplanted some, some more cherry tomatoes. Now I've got some, some carrot seeds and I soaked them overnight, last night. I've put them all in here today. Nobbies? These are my nobbies that's coming. There's still some chewing at it though, isn't there? Oh, there the, the will be. I mean, the, the, they've, they've got uh, uh, slugs in them and I need to get some slug pellets, but I ain't got none. I'm just uh, going to see the summy here, look. These, Sue and Simon, the courgettes. Cool. They're cut, they've come through as well. These are all cherry tomatoes. And onions. Onions. Oh, there's still some beetroot left. Oh yeah, we've still got beetroot. Here we've got my moneymaker tomatoes. I mean, they keep dying off because the, the, the weather's too hot for them. If, if you see what they're, they're all, they're all... Uh, but I keep feeding them and they just keep coming and coming and coming. Chives. So the chives that are running to seed, look. Aren't they pretty flowers? They're beautiful flowers, aren't they? Do they smell of chives, the flowers? I don't know, they might taste of them. <coughs> taste of chives, take one off and bite no, them. No, I'm not bothered. Well, you can eat them. 
Look. Ah, but you're not eating the flour. I thought you were about eating the flour. Well. Oh. Ish. No, Ish. glad he did that. Ish. Onions, you can see, we've still got lots of onions. They'll always come in. They never, yeah, well, they never get wasted. I, I intend planting some more soon. These are all my onions as well. These are the last of my, of my cherry tomatoes. I don't think I'm going to plant any more cherry tomatoes this year. Right. Because I've, I've got loads of them. I've planted some more pepper seeds. And there are my, my seedlings, look. Them, and them, and them. I planted so many pepper seeds because they just wouldn't keep coming. But they're all, they're all germinated together now. These, I sent, away, I sent away for some seed potatoes. And I didn't know how much was in a, in a bag. It said two and a half kilos, but I didn't know how much two and a half kilos were. So I ordered two bags. They, I've set them to, to just to sprout, but they're not doing anything at the moment. Do they need to be in dark? Not really, no, they need, they need sun, sunlight. These are the garlics. These are the garlics. So I've got small ones, I've got big ones. So garlic, onions. And onions. Impressive. So these are all the cherry tomatoes as well. Now, if you if you look, they've got loads and loads. Of, look at the flowers. Look at them. They've got loads of flowers on them. If you get a bit closer, ah. look. They're hanging like grapes. Still some cabbage left. Uh, some more onions. Are they spring cabbage? Uh, yes. They and are. then there's savoy yeah, cabbage. Savoy cabbage. These are jalapenos. Oh, I've got a flower on look. Just flick them, and they they'll turn into into fruit. Onions. Onions. Basil. Onions. Onions. Basil. Basil. Uh, more tomatoes. More tomatoes. What's that? More jalapenos. Oh, right, okay. Look at the flowers on this. You know you do. Once or twice a day, whenever I come round, I just flick the flowers, and then they turn into jalapenos. <laughs> that one's going to turn. Look. Right. That's a jalapeno. That's cilantro. Oh, it's coriander. Coriander. I mean, this is parsley. Right. So now you have an update, and we'll show you some more in the next few weeks, ish. So, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. I've just remembered something he's not told you about, and I've just seen the box and gone ah. Well, while I was ordering the other day, I saw a, an advert for some mushrooms. Now we love mushrooms, so I ordered some. <coughs> and they come, they come in a box. And that, there's a, a specific way you're supposed to do it. There's two, two different ones. There's white, white mushrooms and brown mushrooms. You get it with, with a, a three quarters of the box full of spores. And then you're supposed to put the soil over the top. Now it says crumple it, but try crumpling this it's, it's wet through but look you cut you cover it up and you put it away for two or three weeks and and then the spores start working their way through the soil and that's what that is we will see there you go and there's some other news which isn't news it's been kicking around since about 2018 but some of you guys might not be aware of this and helen's going to give you details so something that you people might not know about, but some of you might know, there's a commonly used painkiller here in Spain called Nolatil, or it's, that's its trade name. Its actual name is Metamazole. And it's really not safe for Northern Europeans to take this drug. It's actually been linked to the deaths of at least 40 British and Irish people. It's banned in over 40 countries around the world, including England, USA, Australia, Sweden. Seems to be, like I said, Northern European people that have an adverse effect uh, to Nolatil. Um, doesn't seem to affect Spanish people. And as I said, it is quite widely used here in Spain. You can get it prescribed as a medication that you take orally, like a tablet. And it's also given as a painkilling injection in health centres and in the hospital. So just be aware, remember the name, write it down, Nolatil Metamazole. 
if you've got to see the doctor tell them that you're allergic to it but don't take that drug because it could it could it can cause you to die so just just be aware it has been fatal in other cases there's actually a group here in Spain at the moment that are lobbying the Spanish government to ban it altogether but at the moment it's still available don't forget May the 4th if you're interested we're having a youtubers meetup there's at least a dozen different youtubers covering from Costa Blanca North all the way down to Costa Calida so quite a few of us if you want to join us we're going to be at the Oasis San Luis check the description details are here but check the description for the google map link it starts at three o'clock may the 4th put us a comment if you come in if you've not told us before already uh we look forward to meeting everybody and finally yeah you know or some of you all know that we're a state agents here in spain legal qualified and experienced we're desperate for houses okay if you know properties all types all areas that we cover no sale no fee if you know somebody that's looking to sell please put them in touch i'll put my details underneath uh, and in the description so that you know how to get in touch with us it's literally we are literally selling them as soon as we're taking them on which is a great position to be in at the minute it is a seller's market and in other news shock horror it's bad for english tourists because the sun's out and you're going to get sunburnt don't forget like subscribe and ring that bell and uh, we'll see you in the next one that's the pronto and don't forget may the <coughs> barking at a pigeon for christ's sake which sets the others off idiot dog love him to bits he's a <coughs> i forgot what i was gonna say